This is the vlog for January 8th, 2019. And as you can tell, I finally got my hair cut. It's been far too long and it was getting quite long and a little gross. And um, this mole, I don't remember if I've mentioned before, but I've had this mole on my head as far as I can remember. Not, I shouldn't say that. I remember a time before I knew it was there. Um, so I don't know exactly when it formed, but it's been there since my childhood. But I didn't really notice it visually until I started shaving my hair back, uh, sort of for Buner Buzz Night, but really just cuz. Um, and, uh, I've been getting my hair cut at a very nice Regis salon, and these buzz cuts have been costing me $40 a piece, which is just too much. It's too much for a haircut that's so simple, theoretically, I could do it. Um, so I went to a place called Earl's Barbershop. And uh, it's sort of out of my way. And they don't make appointments. It's uh, drop-ins only. And they also only take cash. But at $17 per haircut, flat rate. So that's good. Uh, I did not know that it was cash only until I already had my hair cut. So I ran across the parking lot to a Chase Bank and got cash immediately and paid them nicely for it afterwards. Uh, they, I left my hat there as collateral just in case they were afraid I wasn't going to come back. I don't think they understand how much that hat means to me. But, um, yeah. Uh, they told me an interesting fact when they asked me how long I'd been getting my hair buzzed. I mentioned my Buner story. And they said, well, as it turns out, Jay Buner used to get his hair cut here. I said, really? He said, yeah, well, not when he was doing the Buner buzz. He did that himself with a bick, I think. But apparently, before I ever knew him, uh, he was a, a fellow from Texas who would get a flat top. <laughs> if you can believe that. And he got his flat top done while he was a mariner um right at that particular uh barber shop so go figure it was wonderful it's old-fashioned there's tons of sports pictures and pennants on the wall and and uh <laughs> deer antlers a couple deer heads in the office apparently the the original earl was a bit of a hunter and uh, I'm definitely going to come back. I'm definitely going to go back there the next time I need one of these uh, because that's the kind of thing that I, I, I like that atmosphere. I've always felt more comfortable in situations like that than around, uh, you know, high end styling places. I'll probably continue buying product over there, you know, from what product I, I bother getting, which is just shampoo and conditioner mostly. But, um, yeah. It was super windy this morning. It was so windy that um, I heard a crash and I thought of the, there was a tree splintering next to me, but it was apparently uh, uh, the Christmas tree we got rid of today uh, rolled over and hit a deck chair it's so windy right now right now it's not as windy as it was this morning but it's windy enough that uh, the house creaked in a way that Leo used to cause the floor to creak when he would um, walk up the hall to my room and then because we were putting away Christmas decorations since we got rid of the tree um, a little bag, I guess probably the same gust that caused the house to creak, caused a bag in the, uh, hall closet to rustle and fall to the floor. And just for a moment, between the two sounds, I thought, oh no, Leo got into the closet. I don't think about him all the time, but I do think about him a lot. I 
focused on this one. But little times like this make me wonder, maybe it's not just wind making the house creak. Maybe there is a little bit of Leo left in here. And if that's the case, he's probably mad that I've got the door closed and I won't let him in right now while I make these videos. So I better finish up so I can go play with him. I'm Eric Spornitz, and tomorrow will be better.